Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to the NYG All In DBs podcast. <laughs> this is the band of brothers right here. This is the guy. These are the guys where chemistry was created. And uh, you know, I want to welcome all my guys. We'll start with Aaron Ross. You know, Swaggy Ross, always on point. You know, we have Kenny Phillips. The man you cannot beat, Deep Phillips. We got also the daddy of the group, the mean one of the group. He was so mean, y'all. I promise you, he was so mean. <laughs> we got my man, John Grant. Then we have the giant of the all giants, man, Corey Webster. He held it down for us. He was the epitome of what, what the Giants organization wanted. He was the epitome of what the Giants organization needed out there on that island, on the island always by itself, Corey Webster. Our first season together, it was 2010. Dion came over from Seattle, you know, where we played many battles over there in, in, in NFC West. Uh, very familiar with his game, very familiar with him coming out of Tennessee, being a headhunter that he was. And we joined you guys, Aaron Ross, Kenny Phillips, and Corey Webster. Uh, 2010 season didn't go as planned, but we did win 10 games and we fell a little short, 2010 season. So what kind of fuel did that put into our tank coming to the 2011 season? For me, man, I think just to give a testimony to where everybody came from before, everybody was used to winning. You know what I mean? Um, Trail, you had did. Y'all think at the U. KP, you know all about that tradition that y'all had at the U. And then Dion at Tennessee. <laughs> A-Ross, you winning in Texas, you know, hook them horns. And then me having the privilege of being able to win down in Baton Rouge, I think we – already knew what we wanted to do as far as be a champion at the end of the year. So 2010, I think, was just a stepping stone in order to get where we wanted to get at, you know what I mean? Ultimately, we got there, but I think 2010 was just a stepping stone to get there. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. But once I signed with the Giants, just seeing the secondary that we had, and I'm looking around like, geez, we got about four or five national champions just in our secondary. So... It let me know that we was used to winning. I said, we get, we get a few years up on our belt or another year up on our belt. We'll have a chance, you know, to run the table. And the next year, you know, we did that. One, two, three, D, Like I said, I already had played with Corey, played with Ross. And I know Trev from back in the UM days. But like, like y'all say, it was a stepping stone. We was just all starting to get to know each other, kind of get a feel for each other. When I first met, you know, Dion. He introduced himself in the weight room. We kind of like just talked it out. And he just was from day one, just like, man, you know, I'm here to do this. I'm here to play this role. You need me to do this. I'm here. Like he just took on that that, that big brother role, that, that mentor type of role. And in the same with Trail, you know, I recruited Trail. I'm going to take the credit for that. So don't let Jerry Reese say that. <laughs> but bring it, bring it, uh, Aaron Trail to New York. That's that's all me. I should I should get some type of credit for that. Or a check, or a check. You see, Definitely a check. But yeah, man. So, you know, Trail was telling me his contract was coming to an end. And I was just telling him, like, hey, man, you know, what we got going on in New York. We got a great group of guys. And, you know, us playing together, you know, being brothers and all from the U. He came over there and just right away he made an impact. He was special. And like I said, that, that 2010 year, we was really just starting to jail. We won some big games, lost some games, we shouldn't have lost. But we got a chance to learn how to play with each other. And just that chemistry was starting to grow. I feel good about that. I think that was the first time um, we got, we, got a new defensive coordinator and um, everybody had to gel with the new scheme on top of um, having a new secondary. So having that first year, get it under our belt from a winning attitude, knowing how to win, knowing how to study and knowing what it takes to be champions. I think we, we started to gel that, that off season and then leading into the, to the season and, and everything kind of worked out at the end. To add to it, man, I didn't see no egos or nothing like that either with this group of guys, you know. But, you know, at one time, being solid was the highest, you know, level of compliment that you can get. And everybody in this group was solid, you know what I mean? I'm talking about solid. Everybody respect one another and whatever vision or whatever constructive criticism that they gave one another, it was received well, it was said with respect. I just think that was a testament to our character, our upbringing, and the things that we have been around and stuff like that. We had a lot of athletes, you know, in the defensive backfield. We had a lot of wisdom. We had a lot of guys that just knew the game of football. We were students of the game. And for me personally, you know, I was a guy that thought he knew a lot. But when Dion came over, I realized 
of how little I actually knew. You know, when it was talking about taking on a tight end, when you were talking about defeating blocks, all those things where when you're naturally gifted athletically, you can get away with certain things. But when you find your match, now you got to go to different types of strategies and techniques to help you, you know, climb over that mountain. And Dion was that person for me. So I felt like we had something so solid and so in place, obviously with, with Terrell Thomas too, who's not with us right now. And at the beginning of 2011 season with Terrell Thomas suffering another uh, season ending ACL surgery, you know, which was a huge blow for us because he was going to be a major part of our defense for that 2011 season. Um, and then also we didn't sign back Deion Grant at the beginning of the season. So I was mind blown for the simple fact that I thought that we had something dynamic in place. You know, he was my comfort zone. You know, when, when I look at guys, I look at Kenny and I look at Dion. I look at Kenny as my little brother. I'm like, man, I don't want to see him do anything but win. You know, that, that was my job. You know, I, I looked at myself as a protector and then I looked at Dion as my protector. So it, it, it was to follow suit. You know, I think Dion had, had, a, had one hand on my shoulder here and I felt like I had another hand on Kenny's shoulder here because one of the things that intrigued me about the Giants and made me come to the Giants, I knew Kenny, I knew his game, and I just remember seeing this guy, I'm like, damn, this boy going to get that ball. You know, he was going to get that <laughs> ball. This dude's special, man. But it, I was like, man, like, listen, if, if I can go out there and play with this dude, like, listen, we're going we gonna, to we gonna make some things rock. And then we bring Dion over there. But it wasn't the role that we thought it was going to be, you know, because we had also drafted a first round in Prince of Mukamara. You know, they wanted to get their money out of Prince, and I understand that. But I felt like we had a chemistry that we can do some major, major things with how we started that from the beginning and had that in place and just carried over from the 2010 season. But beginning of that season, we didn't start off too good. I believe we ended up losing the season opener. But I think the game that really stuck out in my mind where I felt like we started to make that transformation, it was a coming out party for Victor Cruz. I remember that was when we went down to Philly. Manning back to throw, zips one left, caught by Cruz, runs out of a tackle to the 40, up to midfield, makes another man miss to the 45, down the left sideline, there goes Cruz, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Giants, 74 yards, and he does the salsa. Yeah, it, 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 it was, listen, it was a long day in paradise, man, that boy was doing his thing. Deep ball toward the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown by Cruz, he took it away from two defenders. What a play by Victor Cruz. I think in Philly, what you're talking about, we knew right then and there we'll fight for each other too. You know, we felt within each other that, hey, look, man, we're going we gonna to ride for each other. You know what I mean? From this point on, we're about to make our mark right now. We're going to finish this game. It ain't no pressure on us. We hey, do. right now, this is what we build this chain. Right now, we're in chain and we stand strong. We go everywhere, man. Go. Let's go now. Hey, link up on three. One, two, three, link up. That Philly game, our chemistry was just continuing to grow. Like, people don't understand, like, how tight we were, man. Like, we are literally, like, brothers, like, blood brothers. Like, we are there for each other. We had each other back. We understood each other. We knew each other was going to be on the field. Like, and that's what, when Dion came back, like I said, we, he got back to us late. Once he got back to us, we complete. We was complete. Kafka takes the snap, pumps, looks, lobs one deep down the right sideline, intercepted by Aaron Ross at the 45-yard line of Philadelphia. He was step for step with Deshaun Jackson, and Ross played it beautifully, his second pick of the ball game. And now everybody's headed to the exit, and the New York Giants with an upset on the road against Michael Vick and the Eagles. You know, I'm hyped about this one, you know, because we, we going to Arizona. Now it's time for us to go back to Arizona. So I'm like, hey, you know, my stomach mm -hmm. ground, the, the team I just left. And like I say, although there wasn't animosity, I still want to go out there and give it to him. I want to give it to him. <laughs> you know, I want to give it to him. And, uh, you know, it's a back and forth game. They had a pretty talented offense. You know, Kenny Wells at a running back who was toting that thing. Cobb handoff left for Wells, and he'll walk in for the touchdown. And that game, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I go out there and I do my thing. I feel like it was probably one of my better games, honestly, as a Giant. Second down and eight, off the play fake. Cobb looking for Fitzgerald. And it is picked off by the former Cardinal and Larry Fitzgerald's very good friend. They were scheduled to have dinner last night, in fact, on trail roll. 
Trey, Trey definitely balled out. He got the it was like like you say the game was going back and forth, and he got the the interception. He almost died. You seen he picked it off. He yes. smacked the ground. He, he almost died trying to get it, but hey, he put it on the line for the team, man. Every week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say he ran through me to get it, but I'm not. I, I, I did. I did. He collided with a teammate, Webster. Both were going for the pick, and Roll credit him, held on to the football for the INT. Yeah, he, he saved me too, D, and took me out. D it was kind of like the best of both worlds, you know what I mean? <laughs> for Arizona game, man, we wasn't going to go out there and put a bad showing out for one of our brothers. Like, we got to ride for him, you know what I mean? And that, and that happened throughout the year, too, but. This trail game, you know what I mean? We don't care what happened, what the situation was. Man, we going to ride for him, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we got his back, man, yeah. Throws one left down the sideline for Nix, who makes the catch for the touchdown! Hakeem Nix beat his man down the left sideline. And the Giants are going to win this one. Celebration on the Giants bench. And the Giant fans, many of them here in Arizona, exalt in joy. We keep on winning, keep on playing, doing what we're supposed to. The bright lights only get bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I put our best foot forward. Everybody knows what this game means. All right, so listen, we get a little pre-Super Bowl run into it, right, over there at Gillette Stadium. I think it was like 50-some odd games that they haven't lost at home. And now we up to the challenge facing the ultimate Tom Brady and New England Patriots. And I believe that defensive game plan was the ultimate challenge for Dion. And if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, after the game, I believe Dion was just standing. When you got an interception, he just literally threw the ball right to you. Brady back to throw. He's looking right now. Goes back, left pass. Intercepted by Dion Grant. Stepped right in the passing lane of Gronkowski as Brady tried to look him off. And Grant gets the Giants' second interception of the night. You know, I just set him up, made him think that I was going to go out. And when the tight end bent in, I just kind of cut it. And that was part of the game plan. Make them think that we're in man, but we're really playing zone. We was able to make it work, though. So it paying out, you know, in our favor. Third and goal at the one. Manning's going to throw. Throws it left to the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Jake Ballard. The New York Giants jump off their bench in jubilation as they have rallied with two fourth quarter touchdown passes. And the Giants beat New England 24 to 20. I just want to throw this in. We beat them people three times that year. We beat them in the preseason, the regular season, and we yep. beat them in the Super Bowl. I yep. just want to throw that little nugget in there. I'm not saying we own them people, but I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 like you said, we played with a, a, a special group of guys. Like, everyone on that defense was special. And, and I truly believe that. Like you said, we all played for each other. But that Dallas game, we, we say, is JPP coming out party. And to watch JPP, like, Man, it was it was just crazy. He really was a special talent. I still don't know how to how, how to do six five and can bend that low to the ground. Crazy. All that he was doing was raw. People don't even know yeah. that it was raw. Mm -hmm. And that's a safety. Jason Pierre Paul, relentless effort there. Yeah. You really make a name for yourself tonight, boy. Hell of a job, Blue. Hell of a job, Blue. His skill set, just the way he got after the ball, the plays he was making for us, the fumbles he was causing, the block clear goal. Man, he, he really saved up that game. And now Dan Bailey, at the end of regulation, will try to tie this up with a 47-yarder from the left hash. What a game. Snap is good again. Kick on its way, and it's blocked! Blocked by the Giants! And it bounds into the end zone and through the back of the end zone, and the Giants will win it! Individual rolls up. Yep, Jason Pierre-Paul, JPP. And the New York Giants have saved their season this as they've come to Dallas and defeated the Cowboys. JPP was really the all strong hero of that game. We're going to go into playing Washington. They come to our home field and they spank us. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they spank us. Mm -hmm. I just remember being so mad, man, so living after that game because I didn't think that Washington was good. You know, I'm just being honest. Well, I didn't think that they were that good. But they beat us. And I would just remember I went on the radio show and I was saying, there's too many guys on the sideline. But you had yeah. guys on the sideline for, you know, a hurt neck or bruise or this, that, and the other. I was like, nah, man. Like, how are we going to know what you're thinking and what you're doing when y'all on the sideline? Y'all not even grinding with us during the week, but y'all want to come out there and play. Nah, we can't have that, both on the offense side of the ball and defense side of the ball. So did I call out a team? Yeah, I called out a team. What I talking about? particular individuals, yeah, we had some leaders and captains that was on the sideline that we needed, like we needed them to be there. And 
the way you're going to react, the way you're going to handle it is going to be on you. But I turn on the light and I'll be damned. <laughs> if that week came, we didn't have not one person on the side. Everybody dressed out. Everybody dressed out. Everybody. And I just remember saying to myself, we going to rock. And that's exactly what we did, man. When I tell you we rock, we were, that Jets game, listen, all we needed was Cruz, right? All we needed was Cruz <laughs> to set that tempo. Manning back to throw. Throws one to the right, completes it to the right for a first down, and running out of a tackle down the right sideline is Victor Cruz. Chased by Smith, hurdles over him to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Giants, 99 yards. And he did just that. Well, listen, when he did that, then Amar ran, buddy over going to that end zone. Bradshaw inside the 10, to the goal line, touchdown Giants. And one of the Jets he ran through is still on the ground. Wow. Boom, Rodney Poole got knocked over. Game over. That's a closer. So the Giants have won their fifth in a row against the Jets. Bragging rights, and they do it in fine fashion. I mean, 29-14. We never looked back. We weren't missing a beat. And from that moment on, I knew we had gold. And I just felt like no matter what any team threw at us, we could not be beat. Fourth and inches. They're showing power formation. How about this? Come on, man. Hey, Texas! Hey, Texas! Hey, Rob, Rob! You third, third! Hey, 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 hey! Watch the angle, Rob! No jump! No jump! No jump! I got him! They're going to go for it here on fourth and one. Ryan's going to keep it. He got stopped. He didn't get there! Second time today, they've been stopped on fourth and inches by the big blue defense. The New York Giants are on to the divisional round and a trip to Green Bay against the Packers. We was clicking so much, especially like to the point where we, when we played Green Bay, man, our chemistry was on another oh, level, man. man. We had guys playing, like we, it's like we was in each other's head. And not just doing what we had to do. They smacked us earlier that year. Yeah, 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 that Green Bay game was a game that brought us together more so as a as a unit. And watching film so much, we we would come in during the week and try to give advice on what we think the adjustments we should make with the scheme. And um, I, I honestly feel like it was some things that we saw as players that could have helped us win. And we we said we weren't gonna let the, allow that to happen again. Snap is good. Kick on its way, and it is good. And the Packers remain undefeated. All they had to do was make us mad that they wanted to bring the best out of us because when Green Bay beat us and we feel like we didn't put our best foot forward, we, we was pissed off and we just couldn't wait to see them in the playoffs to go to Green Bay. That was probably like our, our I think personally, our best performance. Like we were so locked in. Everybody just knew what everybody was thinking, what everybody was doing. It wasn't no messed up coverage. Everything was just perfect. Like I, was, I felt like that was one of our perfect games. Rodgers back to throw. He pumps. He's under pressure. He has the ball stripped away. It's loose on the ground. The Giants say they have it. And they do! Sack and force fumble of Rodgers. Yeah, we, we was basically playing above the X's and O's, Ross. Above the X's and, and O's. Goes, come on. Right. Right. We, we were doing it more better. More better. <laughs> more better. That's right. More better. More better blue. <laughs> Rodgers out of the shotgun on a third and long. He's back to throw. He steps up over the middle, deflected and nearly intercepted. It and it is off the deflection. It hit one of the linebackers and then deflected to Deion Grant's arms. And that is it. The New York Giants have eliminated the number one seed, Green Bay Packers, as they come to Lambeau Field and outplay Green Bay. They're all in. And we carry that same mentality to what I personally felt was our biggest challenge when we went up there and we played those San Francisco 49ers. And their defense was honestly the best defense in the league that year. There was a problem. They were honestly a problem. That's the game where I honestly became an Eli Manning fan. Because I kept saying to myself, he done. Hey, he was getting up. He, 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 was, done. Legs, he, was, he was really taking some shots, boy. Oh, my yes, God. They, 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 they beat Eli down, and he would get yeah. up that, with, that, with that face. And his shoulder pad was And Cruz was, hey, listen, Cruz was going to work in that slot. You hear me? Like, 
I was like, listen, when are they going to double team this man in slot? Boy, because they because Carlos have Rogers is getting that business right now. Manning and Cruz are just playing flag football right now. They're playing absolute pitch and catch. Pitch and catch. You're going to have to find a way to get Carlos Rogers some help on it. I know he's the pro bowl corner, and Cruz is just having his way with him right now. Cruz had 112 yards on seven catches already. And then, you know, we had we had great special teams play. Boots won, returnable for Williams from his own 20. Lost the ball, and the Giants say they have it, and they do! Knocked out by Jaquan Williams. Devin Thomas recovered it. I just felt like, man, listen, we, we were clicking so good, man. Like <laughs> Lawrence Tynes from 31 yards to put the Giants in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. Kick on its way, it's got the distance, and it is good! And Lawrence Tynes has done it again. He's kicked the Giants to the second Super Bowl in four years. Congratulations, Giants. We're going to the big one again. Yeah. One, two, three, two. Man, listen, that, that, that week of that Super Bowl, man, I, I felt like those were probably the best practices we had all year long. Super Bowl week, we started practicing. Ask Coach Coughlin five to 10 minutes early every day. Man, we out here for one reason and one reason only, man. That's the work. This yeah. is a business trip. We coming out here to kick their butt. From high atop Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, it's the New York Football Giants and the New England Patriots Super Bowl 46. But listen, man, I, you know, just going to that, into that Super Bowl game, like I said, it was a back and forth battle. Brady is going to be Brady. We knew that we weren't going to completely eliminate him from being the, the, great, the great superstar that he is. But I think we did a great job of holding our own. We did a great job of taking away his primary reads, his primary weapons, and not really letting him get going in that first quarter. The second half, he came out, I believe he was like 17 for 17 in that second half. You know, he had found the rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then our savior, Chase Blackburn, make a hell of a play on Ron Gronkowski, you know, down the middle of the field, one-on-one -on -one by himself. Jump ball, intercepted by the Giants. Chase Blackburn picked it off at the eight-yard line. Y'all don't know this. That wasn't even Chase man. That was my man. You know, Grunt was kind of hurt in the beginning, but that play Grunt was hurt. Grunt took off on that play. Yeah, he did. And I was kind of out of position. Chase saw that on me, played off me, and he made it up. And when he made that play, he saw, oh, boy, you know, probably had a step. But that was another situation chemistry. where it just that happened chemistry, on the man. time that, yeah, well, he, that wasn't even his man. A lot of people don't even know that. You know, throughout the course of that game, you know, Tom Brady is saying it's like throwing a ball through a force. You know, he just couldn't see. His receivers, because our D-line kept coming at him, kept, kept wreaking havoc, you know, they just made it real, real uncomfortable for him. We made it real uncomfortable for him in the back end. And, you know, it all boils down to a play, right? You got to play here, you got to play there. Eli throwing a, throwing a ball that only Eli, in my eye, could have made that throw. Manning out of the shotgun set, and he's back to throw. Climbs the pocket, deep ball down the left sideline, and it's going to be caught. Was he inbounds? Yes! What a catch. It's not quite David Tyree, but that is pretty close. Mario, honestly, not taking away anything from any other receiver, making a catch that only Mario could make. You know, with his balance and his sweet speed and just how he positioned his body and stayed in balance and just that, that safety made the best play on that ball that he could have possibly have made and still wasn't yeah. able to get there. That's just how good and how perfect that was of a play by Eli and, and, and more importantly, you know, by Manningham. But... It all boils down to the Hail Mary, right? Brady's back. Brady's under pressure. Brady's chase. Brady heaves one down the middle of the field into the end zone. A jump ball. We got Corey and, and, and Ross on the corners. You got me at the nickel that's supposed to disrupt, you know, Wes Walker. Don't let him get down the field. We got KP and, and Dion, the big guys back there in the back to knock the ball down. I had one job, right? You know how they say you got one job? You got one job, right? <laughs> Not to let Wes Welker get down the field. And what's the first thing I do? <laughs> My legs could not move. Look, I saw that ball in the air, man. Oh, man. Let me tell you what Trey said, KP. <laughs> we got high jumping AP and Dion back there. Man, Wes Welker don't got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that for real, for real. Like, he don't got a chance. For that real, for real. The jump ball, and it's... Incomplete, and the ball game's over, and the Giants have won Super Bowl 46. 
Still will, the heart of the champion. Finish is what Tom Coughlin said, and the Giants have finished off the Patriots in the Super Bowl for the second time in four years. Yeah. Super Bowl three, yes! This is what we need to say, all on deck, all in. We will not be denied, world champs. But you know what, man, listen, we, we, we did that thing, man, and, and, and we were victorious, and we were relentless. We were a team that wanted it because we all came out there and we did it together, man. But we know as a group, as a defensive back group, we were extremely special. Our play spoke for itself, but we had a chemistry that was like no other. Like, our chemistry, we, we weren't going to be denied. And more importantly, like we, like I said, it wasn't a brotherhood. We were brothers, you know, and, and we were honestly do anything for one another. And I honestly truly believe that if it came down to it, we would have laid our lives on the line for one another at that point in time. Like there's no doubt about it. Trey, yeah. I don't believe you could have wrapped that up any better than that, man. I think you said everything that needs to be said right there. We did it for something bigger than just a ring. You know what I mean? That was a byproduct of what we was out there trying to display. And that was just respect, morals, values, principles, the things that we live on. And the world got to see that come together, man. And that was a byproduct of you know, the ring was a byproduct of that. Hey, love y'all boys, man. You already right, know, man. hey, we, our group chat stay popping. And we always make sure we stay connected with each other, uh, checking up on one another, make sure we stay locked and loaded, know what each other got going on. And, and that's who we are. You know, like I said, it's not a brotherhood with brothers. And I love y'all boys. And I appreciate y'all for joining us on this New York All In podcast for the DBs. Hey, I'm going to end this with one thing, though. Hey, Webby, you got two rings. Oh, Lord. I got a ring. <laughs> Ross, you got a ring, Ross? I got two of them things. You got two of them things? <laughs> Dia, 13 got, years later, you got a ring? I got one. I got a ring, too. You got a ring. Hey. You got a ring, too. You got a ring. Hey. You got a ring, too. You got a ring. You got a ring. Big I love y'all boys, man. Hey, yeah, that's, love y'all, hey man. that's the NY All In King. podcast for the DBs. We coming to you live. We only way you gonna get it. Holla. Love y'all boys. Love y'all, babe. Hello, is it done? Yeah, all done. Okay, I'm gonna put on the. I'm gonna put on the my my game now. Yeah. <laughs>